Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. Three. You have permission to launch. We have ignition of the RS 68A main engine. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket. Execute. And we have indication of spacecraft separation. At Space Launch Complex 37, a Delta IV heavy rocket is fueled and ready to launch the NRL 44 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Good evening, and welcome to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. I'm Dylan Rice, a systems engineer, launch conductor, and your host for this evening's broadcast. Liftoff is set for 11.54 p.m. Eastern Time. The team is not working any issues at this time, and we are standing by at T-minus four minutes and holding. At the request of our customer, today's live coverage will conclude following payload fairing jettison scheduled to occur about six and a half minutes after liftoff. In addition to watching our webcast, you can follow live mission progress at ULALaunch.com. Will Ulrich, the 45th Space Wing's launch weather officer, recently briefed the team on weather conditions here at Cape Canaveral. The probability of validating launch constraints is 10%. The ground winds are 12 to 17 knots out of the north-northeast, and the temperature is 74 degrees Fahrenheit. So the weather is within launch commit criteria and looks favorable for our plan T0 at 11.54 p.m. Eastern. Today's flight will take an easterly heading away from our launch pad here at Cape Canaveral. Let's take a look at what else we can expect to see. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy rocket. At T minus 14 seconds, the Rofis, which look like sparklers, ignite to burn off excess hydrogen injected into the flame duct. Rofi ignition is followed by ignition of the starboard Delta IV RS 68A engine at T minus 7 seconds. Two seconds later, the center and port RS 68A engines ignite, generating more than 2.1 million pounds of total thrust to lift the rocket off the pad. This staggered engine start mitigates the fireball created by the hydrogen-burning Delta IV Heavy. Shortly after liftoff, Delta IV begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 1 minute 18 seconds. Two seconds later, the rocket experiences maximum dynamic pressure as it travels through Earth's atmosphere. At 3 minutes 56 seconds, the port and starboard booster engine shut down. Two seconds later, the port and starboard boosters are jettisoned. The center booster engine then throttles to full power to maximize performance. Approaching main engine cutoff, Delta IV is traveling at more than 24,753 kilometers, or 15,381 miles per hour, is located at 111 kilometers, or 69 miles in altitude, and is 586 kilometers, or 364 miles downrange. At 5 minutes, 36 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. Seven seconds later, the Delta IV separation system activates to release the first stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff. At 5 minutes, 56 seconds, the Delta cryogenic second stage main engine burn begins. During ascent, NROL-44 is protected inside a 5-meter diameter tri-sector payload fairing. At approximately 6 minutes 38 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. Delta IV continues its national security mission following payload fairing jettison. ULA is using the Delta IV Heavy configuration to launch the NRL 44 mission. This is the 12th Delta IV Heavy launch and ULA's 141st mission. Built in Decatur, Alabama, the Delta IV Heavy is ULA's largest, most powerful configuration. It's comprised of three common booster cores, each powered by Aerojet Rocketdyne RS-68A engines and a Delta Cryogenic second stage powered by an Aerojet Rocketdyne RL-10B2 engine. It's equipped with a 5-meter diameter payload fairing. Events began on July 27th when the spacecraft, encapsulated inside that 5-meter fairing you can see here, was transported to the MST at Slick 37 and vertically integrated to the Delta Heavy rocket. The final preps began approximately 3 p.m. today. The MST is as tall as a football field is long, as wide as the length of a basketball court, and weighs about 10 million pounds. Here you can see the MST swing out platforms being readied for the tower roll. The MST uses a carriage transporter system. It travels about a quarter mile per hour, 
and at that speed it takes about 25 minutes to roll the tower to its launch position 345 feet north of the launch vehicle. It utilizes 40 hydraulic cylinders at pressures nearing 3,500 PSI to raise the MST 8 inches prior to rollback. The Delta Heavy rocket stands 235 feet tall, or about 23 stories, and weighs about 1.6 million pounds fully fueled. The three engines produce more than 2 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Today's launch is for the National Reconnaissance Office, or NRO. This is ULA's 29th launch for the NRO and the 8th use of the Delta IV Heavy for the NRO. The NRO is a joint organization engaged in the research and development, acquisition, launch, and operation of innovative overhead reconnaissance systems necessary to meet the needs of the intelligence community and the Department of Defense. The NRO is recognized for its transformational intelligence collection systems that are used to develop highly accurate military targeting data, support international peacekeeping and humanitarian relief operations, and to assess the impact of natural disasters. As they do for every mission, the NRO provided unique artwork for NRO 44. Here's the story behind the art. The background of this artwork is a dark shade of NRO blue to symbolize cross-organization collaboration required for mission success. In the foreground, we see a wolf howling as a warning to its pack as the first point of detection for signs of trouble. The wolf pack represents the nation and the international community leveraging and supporting the steadfast sentry. Lastly, the falling snow represents the purity of the NRO's intentions and the serene calm of peace. A few moments ago, Mission Director Colonel Chad Davis remembered our friends and colleagues Chuck Mitchell and Winnie Pang. Let's listen in. NRO L44 launch is dedicated to the memory of Chuck Mitchell and Winnie Pang. Chuck and Winnie have dedicated countless hours of technical expertise, ensuring the incredible success of a multitude of launches. Their warm smiles, team spirit, and phenomenal leadership have rippled across the aerospace and lawn communities. To our fellow patriots, rest in peace. This is Delta Mission Control at T-minus four minutes and holding. We remain in the planned 15-minute built-in hold as preparations for launch continue. In a few moments, launch conductor Scott Barney will poll the launch team for the final go to pick up the count. 27 engineers and managers are polled for system status and readiness to proceed. This is the final status check before launch for all Delta vehicle systems, ground systems, the spacecraft, and the U.S. Air Force Eastern Range. The vehicle system readiness poll includes electrical systems, hydraulics, pneumatics, propulsion systems, flight control, and propellants. Let's listen in as Scott Barney performs the final polling of the launch team. Status check to proceed with terminal count. First stage sessions, propulsion. Ready. Hydraulics. Go. Ready. Locks. Go. LH2. Go. Second stage systems locked. Go. LH2. Go. Electrical systems airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RFFTM. Go. Flight control. Go. Com. Go. GCQ. Go. Operation support. Go. Pneumatic. Go. Umbilical. Go. Hazgat. Go. ECS. Go. Red line monitor. Go. Quality. Go. Op safety manager. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Vehicle system engineer. Go. And I'm my chief. Go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. Launch vehicles ready to launch. Oh, Mission minus six minutes. Mission director. Permission to launch. Proceeding with the camp. MAQ established swing arm lock pin support. Active. Polling is complete and the launch team has given the go for launch. 
The countdown will resume approximately two minutes from now, but before it does, let's walk through the final checks we'll hear from the launch team. Delta IV's liquid oxygen and hydrogen tanks have been full for approximately a half hour and in topping mode to replenish commodities that evaporate while we perform final valve and vent system checks. Once the terminal count begins, you'll hear indications that propellant topping has halted on all Delta's first and second stages. The oxygen systems are secured first, followed by the hydrogen systems, and all tanks will be pressurized for flight. The vehicle will transfer from ground electrical power to its onboard batteries. Hydraulic systems are pressurized and the vehicle's ordnance systems are armed. At T minus 60 seconds, the Eastern Range will provide the range green call, indicating that weather conditions are acceptable. All supporting assets are ready for liftoff, and the air and sea adjacent to Complex 37 and along the flight path are clear. At T minus 30 seconds, Launch Conductor Scott Barney will conduct one final short status check to verify all systems remain go for launch. At T minus 15 seconds, the ROFIs, or radial outward firing igniters, will light to burn off residual hydrogen around the base of the vehicle. At T minus 7 seconds, the starboard engine will ignite, followed by the core and port engines at T minus 5 seconds, and liftoff will occur at T0. After liftoff, you'll hear the voice of Patrick Moore with Launch Vehicle Ascent Data. This is Delta Mission Control at T minus four minutes on holding. We anticipate releasing the hold in just a few moments. T minus four minutes and counting. The countdown clock has resumed. We have entered the terminal count and are go for launch at 11.54 p.m. Eastern. T minus three minutes, 25 seconds. Second stage lock, secure at flight level. Second stage oxygen systems now ready. T minus three minutes, seven seconds. First stage tanks now pressurizing for flight. T minus two minutes, 49 seconds. FCS internal. CPC locks at flight pressure and flight level. First stage oxygen system is now configured for flight. T minus two minutes, 159. Vehicle internal. Hydraulic pressure at 4,000. 155. Delta 4 now on internal power. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. First stage hydrogen tanks are now ready. T minus one minute, 40 seconds. SCS launch enabled. 137. T minus one minute, 20 seconds. The vehicle, payload, and ground systems, Eastern Range are go for launch. T minus one minute. T minus one minute. Rock report range status. Range green. Eastern Range reporting ready. 50 seconds. Uh, 
Second stage LH2 secure at flight level. 30 seconds. Status check. Go Delta. Go NROL 44. Fifteen seconds. Rofi ignition. Rofi's not ignited. Ten. Nine. nine eight. Seven. Six. Five. And stand by. There's been a hold called. Activated. Clock Roger, is stopped at T minus down. seven seconds. Better operate. Operation one. Two. LC switch not ready. And it Cooling water is on. Mako is confirmed. Launch conductor now confirming that all engine valves are closed and the team is going to move through the process of safing the vehicle. Flight control looking for your call at step 70. Flight control is ready to set the clock to T minus 4 and holding. Roger. ALC reset countdown clock to T minus 4 minutes and holding. Roger. The team will now recycle the vehicle back to a T minus and four, T minus four minutes in holding configuration. As the uh, issue that's caused the hold is identified. Roger. Prop one verifies safe R six days shutdown and following purge configuration. Roger that active. Will report when complete. Roger. DST one. Best worst four to switch best source one and best source two force to channel one umbilical. Roger. MEQ swing arm lock pins install. Roger, complete. LC says pad is normal. OSM, LC. OSM. How do you verify pad uh, is normal? M4 in work. Roger. LC, OSM, pad is normal. Roger. ALC. Eng established engine cooling water off. Water off. Note of personnel, report system status. Fuel one. Fuel one nominal. Fuel two. Fuel two nominal. Locks one. Locks one nominal. Locks two. Locks two nominal. And prop one. Prop one is nominal. Penny, LC. Go for Penny. Are you ready to establish PSN2 at this time? Or have you established that? It's been established. Roger. HYA secure hydraulics. Roger. Stand by, HYA. Has gas established scan pattern 305. Roger. GE established arm igniters reset. Reset. PNE verify nose cone purge on and set heater to 164 degrees. Verified.
OSM verify OSM concurrence to safe FTS. OSM concurs. FTS command FTS safe and external. In work. LD, LC, channel one. Go, LD. LC, at this time, the MD has declared a scrub for today's operations. Uh, we'll have a predetermined recycle time. Roger, we'll set up for an extended uh, recycle and proceed in a detanking when when uh, recycle is complete. Concur. This is Delta Mission Control. It has been confirmed that we will not continue with Delta IV Heavy and ROL-44 launch activities today. For the most up-to-date information, please visit ULALaunch.com, follow us at ULA Launch, or call 1-877-ULA-4321. This concludes today's broadcast. I'm Dylan Rice. Thank you for joining us.